Hello, welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in here. So this is manifestation success story number one. My first miracle experience at age 15. Miracles happen every day. Commonly understood as the inexplicable, unnatural, unexpected phenomenon, illogical events, and usually considered as a work of God or of universal intelligence or however you call the divine. This happened to me at age 15. I was raised by very poor parents in a far-flung barrio, miles away from the famous Banawi rice races. My parents were illiterate and farming was the only way of life for us to survive. Everybody was barefoot. Everybody lives in the same kind of houses. We had no model. We played on the same fields, created our own toys, and that was normal to us. I literally sent myself to school, bartering fruits and vegetables for school supplies. After graduating from elementary school at age 12, being poor, hungry, and determined to change my life, I walked 9 kilometers to the only high school, which was a Catholic school run by Belgian priests. I knocked on the door of the sisters, the nuns there at, introduced myself. So I asked them to help me find work so I could support myself to school, which they did. It was so hard. It was physically exhausting. But I went through it because that was the only way I know that could change my life for the better. That young, I already know how to apply the universal law of ask and it is given, seek and you shall find, knock and doors of opportunity will happen. Third year high school was the most unforgettable year of my student life. It was the last grading period and I still had a balance of 62 pesos which is equivalent to about $2 back in 1971. It seemed like the end of the road. So for the first time in my life, I went home to my parents to ask help. There I found out that my father was very, very sick. He had bloated face and whole body. But there is no way we could bring him to a hospital. We only had home remedies. So the following day, I returned back empty-handed, devastated, and crying while walking along the road. Not for myself, but because I was helpless for my father. Being a PhD, poor, hungry, and determined, when I reached the dormitory, I went to all the teachers living there and asked them, to help me pay the 62 pesos and I will do their laundry the following year. One teacher finally agreed to pay for my balance. I was so grateful and finally assured that I could take the test the following day. I got my books and notes and went out of the dormitory because I wanted to be alone and sat down under a papaya tree. Before opening my notes, I looked up to the heavens thank god for all the blessings i just received and prayed like i was talking to him face to face asking him to please heal my father don't let him die and to guide me what to study requesting him if he could help me attain at least second honor then i would continue my schooling the following year because i already am in debt for 62 pesos then I forgot all about it until graduation evening where all the honor students from first year to third year were included for awarding ceremony. When our time came for the announcement of third year honor students, the first that was announced was a tie for first in religion. They announced the first student's name and then my name was announced. I was shocked. It was magical. I never had that kind of honor in my whole student's life. And that was just a bonus. Because after the first honor for academic excellence, miracle of miracles, my name was announced as the second honor. Then boom, an electric 
electrical current seemed to run down my spine as I remembered that prayer under the papaya tree. I was in seventh heaven. I was in total bliss. I did not hear any applause. I did not hear anybody. I was just talking to God. Tears were running down my cheek. I could not even talk to my mother, who is not understanding why I have two ribbons. What a moment of bliss, inexplicable joy. Twenty years later, I found out that I was a topic of discussion for that whole week. They had to review my test papers. The faculty members had to talk to each other. What happened? Out of nowhere. They had to validate. They went to the extent of communicating with my head teacher at my elementary school where I graduated. And of course, I was not an honor student there. Listen, young listeners, those magical experiences helped me through the years until I graduated college. I learned all my lessons the hard way. I had no mentor, no model. I wish I had a coach. It was all on my own. It's a big privilege for you these days because we are in the age of Google. Knowledge is just at the tip of your finger. Ignorance is a choice these days. Ignorance was a choice in my time. I'm sharing you all these lessons to make it easier for you. Acquire knowledge, learn the skills, practice what you learn, find a coach or a mentor, and join like-minded communities where you can grow faster. Steve Jobs said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect the dots looking backward. What is your dream? What do you want in life? You do not need to know how to do it. I did not know how to do it. The universe or God will conspire to make it happen. So looking back right here and now, how did that happen? I can now understand. I wish I knew all this before. I was a vibrational match to my desire to go to school. I just simply trust and surrender. I had no time for doubt. I was a working student. I was too busy to worry. I didn't know if it will happen. I never expected that. But I know I had to act my part. I had to take effort. Law of attraction requires it. The last word there is action. And scriptures validate it. Faith without works is dead. If I just wished I go to school but did nothing, I may not have a title now, but I had a title then. Poor, hungry, and determined to go to school. Manifestation was popularized by the movie The Secret using the universal law of attraction. And I am here to confirm it does work. We attract what we are, not what we want. When we become the vibrational match to our desires, the law of vibration cannot falter. Watch my video for detailed explanation. It is just like the law of gravity. Whether you are a sinner or a saint, when you jump off a cliff or a building, you will definitely fall down, not up. It is ignorance of these universal laws that make events appear to be magical or mystical. But to someone who understands these laws, these so-called miracle events just become normal occurrence. Deep inside every person is universal consciousness, God or universal intelligence. All you have to do is tap in. Watch my video on manifestation. Watch my video on meditation. That's a big help. Even just the last of the 21 series. Ignorance of universal laws, especially on manifestation, does not prevent miracles from happening in your life. But understanding the process will make it easier to manifest what we want in life. By the way, anybody telling you to join their business, earning massive return of investment, doing nothing is plain nonsense. Take it from me, I lost so much over and over and over to shiny opportunities after retirement, offering those that's why I'm so grateful for pandemic times that gave me the opportunity to delve into the nitty-gritty of the essence of manifestation. That's why I'm sharing you right now. Thank you for watching to the end. If this video resonates with you, you have learned anything at all from my story, please comment below and be an inspiration for others also. I would highly appreciate if you could also share your personal stories for encouragement. It's not what you gather, 
it is what you scatter along the road in life that you are remembered service to others is the highest form of fulfillment to the giver finally please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel because i have committed myself to produce one video a week to inspire share knowledge experiences to enhance the mind the body and spirit confidence thank you see you next video